Hey guys, I'm Rob Beast, and this is a not mint box, really quick one. We're doing some easy ones. At Toy Fair back in February, Mattel gave us uh, review copies of the DC Comics Multiverse from the Batman Arkham Origins. And these are about three and a half inch uh, figures, about the size of G.I. Joe's. And I uh, got my hands on Deadshot right here. Show you the front of the package. There's a Multiverse label, the Batman Arkham for adult collectors, and there is Deadshot. And there's that shot. Back of the package shows the toy. All the figures in the line. The multiverse. A little stuff about dead shot. And this is zero three new no, contains small parts. So I don't really see him containing too many small parts. He's like a lot of packaging for something that just is a figure. So I'm not gonna waste any time doing this gracefully. Just open up the toy and show you what we got. I gotta thank Mattel for you know, giving this to us so we could do reviews and stuff, which is cool. Getting stuff for free is always a pleasure. Okay. Good. Like I said, there's nothing really in the packaging, just empty. And there is that shot. Yeah. And there's the figure. He's got a um, head uh, it's on a joint. The body, chest at the waist. There's no ab crunch. Does have arm ball joint goes around 360. Does elbow joint. He has no uh, no uh, his can't turn his arm this way. But he has a wrist joint. Same for the other hand. His legs have this, uh, they have the ability to go out, and, uh, they got this unique kind of, like, the old-fashioned, like, that joint right there, but yet they still have an extra joint just to go out until it comes off heels. Plus, his, uh, his leg swivel, they have the joint at the knee, but the elbow does not. The elbow just gets head straight. And then also, uh, his feet seem to be just what they are so you just pretty static so well pretty simple he has uh, a lot of details a little bullets on his shoulder pad right there and I hope we can see that see like that there you go see it bam bullets his weapons are on his arms which are these kind of like you know wrist things there. He has them in bolts, so he can just kind of strip you. He's got this heavy jacket. Looks like he's ready for the winter. Uh, the elbows really don't go up as high as I would like them to. He has an open hand and a closed fist, as if he can hold another weapon, but he doesn't come with anything else. Uh, pretty solid figure, I'll tell you this much. It's a really strong. That's a solid figure. That figure will not break. Um, very decently well made figure. If you're a fan of Batman and the whole DC universe, especially Deadshot, which you don't know about Deadshot, I would pick him up. I would suggest pick him up, but I there's a lot of things I guess I'm that bother me nowadays with toys. Uh, especially with Mattel, like just the I don't know if you can see it too well, but across this whole back right here, it's Mattel Corporation's like copyright and stuff. And yeah, they still have a product, they still have like a code number on the leg. So there's a stamp here. There's an indentation in his back with all that detail. You know, if this is supposed to be for adult collectors, I hate the fact of having like to look at. Oh, let's see if I can get that for you. See right there? See that? That's all label. It's all copyright information. I know it's such a small figure where else can you put it, but it just it kind of throws it off. But all right, this is Deadshot. Definitely worth picking up, guys. And remember, they are your toys. Play with them the way you want.